Hey, Sam Smelter here with Leadership Arts Associates, hopping in for your HR personality lesson, courtesy of a fellow unicorn. And um, I have to say that I found this really cool idea that I've never heard of before that I think would be very beneficial to any of you that struggle with brooding over decisions that you make, especially if you find yourself right now in a time of change and you're having to do things very quickly, um, brooding or, or hesitating or having reactions to the decisions that you made uh, in that moment are going to slow you down. So how can you kind of table them and pause them without discounting the fact that you're having a reaction to whatever decision that you make? Um, so I saw this idea called a decision journal. So essentially what it is is that you have a journal, you use it as a log, you make a, a date, you state the decision that you made, and you state whatever feelings that you're having or reaction to it um, that's causing you to slow down and hold up. And then you save it there, you park it there, and you get to come back to it later and still fully process it. So you're not discounting what you're reacting or you're feeling or evolving. You're just giving yourself permission to come back to it because there's other things that need your attention in the interim. I personally am a huge fan of journaling techniques where we're parking and logging ideas to use them later on for themes because that's how we find the greatest amount of growth. So really cool idea. If you're struggling with it, check out doing a decision journal. Uh, if you do that, I'd love to hear kind of your outcomes or even work with you to kind of figure out what those themes mean that might be showing up in those decision journals. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, at least for right now, but talk to you later.